Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk about a video controller that I built for my car, uh, which makes it possible to switch between the back of camera, left turn, and right turn camera on my car. So this circuit that you see, this diagram, it actually consists of three major components. This voltage regulator here, and two two pole relay so <clears throat> the voltage regulator it which is an ic integrated circuit it's the number with the number of lm7812 um, it actually regulates the input voltage so if if the voltage the, that comes to this input fluctuates it always gives you um you know a 12 volt uh, a regulated 12 volt on its output. So it, there's two advantage to this. Actually, um, since the battery has higher voltage than 12 volt, you know, if you feed that voltage directly from the battery to your cameras, there is a higher chance that your camera is going to burn out or it's going to lower uh, the life on your camera. So I, I use this regulator to actually regulate the voltage. And if there is any fluctuation, you know, um, on your, uh, you know, the electrical system on your car, this uh, uh, regulator actually is going to uh, filter that. It's going to always give you the 12 volt. So for that reason, I, I use the, the regulator. So the two pole relay that you see here, um, it has actually two identical switch. It's two pole switch uh, in the relay. So the common port, as you see, when the relay is turned off and it's not activated, it's connected to this pin, which is normally cl uh, uh, normally closed. So when the the relay gets activated, this switch actually uh, moves from the normally closed and connects to the normally open and actually this one gets closed so that's how it works and there are actually two of these switches in this relay so I'm using two of these relays okay another thing that you should uh, pay attention to is on your back of camera the the positive voltage that you need to feed your camera uh, in order to turn it on it has to be connected to the a backup light so when you put the car in a reverse gear and when this switch uh, or however this turns on when the voltage is come through and turn on the backup light that's when you want to turn on your backup camera okay but for the left turn and right turn camera you could directly connect them to the 12 volt voltage and have them turned on at all time. It's actually better because it's going to uh, reduce the delay from the time that you turn on the, the, the signal and to the, t uh, you know, when and um, and when you see actually the, the, the video on your display. Okay. So this is the DVD player with the display and it has a video input and also it has another input. It's a display trigger signal that it, whenever a, a positive, uh, you know, 12 volt, 13 volt, whatever connects to this um, wire, it puts the DVD player into display mode and it actually gets ready to show or play whatever video signal that is coming through its uh, input. Okay, so having said that, now I'm going to uh, turn on uh, the, the circuit, the wiring on the back of camera and show you how um, we can use this controller in order to view the back of camera okay so as you see when i put the car in reverse gear so this vcc which is the volt the battery positive voltage actually this switch closes and this vcc comes and connects to this trigger right so it puts the dvd into display mode and it's it's ready to show the uh, the video on its input right so this camera and if you remember, 
it gets turned on when the, the backup light comes on, right? Since the car is in reverse mode now, the camera is on, right? And it's sending out the video signal. The video signal is coming through this pin, normally closed pin on this relay, and it's going out of the common pin and is connecting to this video input on the DVD player. So at this time, you um, actually you can see the backup camera on your DVD player, right? So when we do left turn signal, uh, this is actually what happened. When you do left turn signal, the negative, this switch closes and the negative com connects to this pin on your relay. So the relay, the positive, is actually connected to this 12 volt. And since the negative is connecting to the relay, the relay turns on, or actually uh, it's, it gets activated. So when the relay activates, the normally closed pins are no longer closed. They become open, right? And normally open become no, and become closed now, okay? so. What happens is these two connectors connect to each other, right? And this, these two switches, okay, this position gets closed, right? Okay, so what happens is, and like I said, the camera is already connected to the 12 volt and the camera is already turned on, so, and it's sending out the signal. So the signal is connected to this pin, and now that these two pins are closed, the signal can travel through the common port, the common pin on this uh, relay, and it's connecting to the video input, okay? So, but we need one more signal, one more voltage in order to activate the display on our DVD, which is the, the, the display trigger signal. How do we do that? We use, we use the 12 volts in a voltage from output on this regulator, and we connect it to this common port on the second switch on this relay, okay? And now that this relay is activated, it's actually connected to here, right? So this 12 volt can travel coming out and then connect to the display trigger signal. So that, that way we could get the DVD player to uh, display mode, right? So that's how we can view the left camera, okay? So for the right camera, it's, all, it's almost the same you know, uh, way, but it's we're using it, the, the first relay for that, okay? So as I said, the camera is turned on and it's sending out the signal to this pin, right? But it's not connected to anything yet until we do right turn signal. So when we do right turn signal, this negative can come through and activate this relay or turn on this relay. So when this relay is on, like I said, these two switches, they move to this pin, right? So now <clears throat> the signal from the right camera can come through the common pin and go to the video input. So we have the video input signal right here. But we also need to put the DVD player into display mode. So how do we do that? From the 12 volt, as you see, I have given the 12 volt to this pin, and that 12 volt gets to connect to the common port because the, the relay is on, and then it's coming out and is actually going into the DVD trigger signal. So actually it's putting the DVD into display mode. So that's how you can um, actually view the right camera when the car is in, you know, when you're doing the right turn signal. So this is how this schematic works. And um, I have already built this and it's installed on my car. Just so you know, I have a Camry 2007 LE I bought this aftermarket DVD player 
and I have all these three cameras already installed on my car and it's working perfectly, you know, with no problem. Uh, this may work on your, on your vehicle, and, you know, you may have a different make and model as long as you, you know, uh, have the same mechanism on your car, you know, the, the reverse gear works the same way or the t left and turn and the right turn signal gives you the same voltage, you know, for the left turn and right turn if you get the negative on the output and for the reverse if you get the the, the positive on the output. If if your car um, works the same way, then you could this circuit should pretty much work for you, and you should be able to, you know, connect uh, your cameras um, to this controller and be able to view the video on um, your DVD player. Uh, thank you for watching. And please leave comment below and any question you might have, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you. Bye.